Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to my channel, Eat Healthy, Get Rich, Drink Good Beer. Today, I have a fantastically easy recipe for you. My name is Taranjit Singh Rai, and I teach young people how to save for that mortgage, how to save for that marriage, and if you are a lifelong learner, how to pay off that mortgage. For this recipe, you need roast chicken. This is optional, actually. I'll teach you a vegetarian version as well. These are leftovers from yesterday, and I'll teach you an amazing way to cook roast chicken but that's for some other day lettuce cucumber sweet corn english mustard any mustard will do the job dijon mustard will do the job there's no rules to my cooking soft white bread and mayonnaise this is light mayonnaise but you can use the original one that's also fine if you are uh, worried about putting too much mustard in you can actually just buy mustard mayonnaise also as a rule of thumb if you're putting two big spoons of mayonnaise you need to put one small spoon of mustard it's actually pretty easy so all i'm gonna do is mix and i'll show you the final product i'm not gonna measure the amount of mustard as you all know there's no rules to my cooking less is more more is more <laughs> you can put whatever you want in goes cucumber lettuce the final ingredient is one spoon of mustard. This will sit for an hour in the fridge so that the mustard and the mayonnaise work the magic on the chicken. I have not added any salt or pepper because I had used salt to cook the roast chicken. But if you want, you can add a little bit of salt and pepper just for your taste. In the meantime, let's introduce the beer of the day. Sputnik American Pale IPA. I think it's a funny combination between Sputnik and uh, American IPA. It is brewed in Leeds in, in England. Really hoppy guys. And again with the mustard in the filling and this beer will go really really well. Guys the stock I want to introduce today is Image uh, Protect. It is a super sub penny stock uh, currently sitting at 0 0.0080. It had a, a wee bit of a run here and the reason for this uh, run was because they are becoming pink current uh, next week. The ticker symbol is IMTL. My price target end of April is 0 0.10. Again, this is really, really risky uh, play. Uh, I will take 100% uh, off as soon as I get it. And if it goes the way I'm thinking it will go, I'll skim profits on the way up. Uh, because it's a penny stock and it can go down to zero. For risk management, I'll set up a stop loss of 15%. Most people set up stop loss for 10%, but that's what hedge fund managers know. And especially people that short the stocks, they know how much to sell so that that will trigger your stop losses. A, to safeguard my investment. B, to outdo the hedge fund managers. I'm not a big fan of uh, stop loss. Market cap is really small, 28 million. Authorized shares are 3.7 billion. Outstanding shares are 3.5 billion but the float is only 287 million so that suggests maybe uh, there is quite a lot of inside ownership and uh, maybe the the shares are restricted the short interest as i was saying earlier is really high so there's a, always a possibility of short squeeze happening the team is excellent and i'll come back to that point later the main catalyst is that their application has been approved and they will be pink current uh, next week also uh, i am not a big fan of analyzing charts for sub penny stocks and if <laughs> some youtubers do that that's fine but honestly the financials and the chart macd's rsi's no no not for uh, these particular stocks <laughs> me included we still have a quick look and actually it's forming a nice uh, w it's somewhere here actually so it can actually shoot up pretty nicely next week the reason why i picked this stock is because recently non-fungible tokens are hot area of investment and they are based on blockchain technology. So what this company does is, uh, if let's say if you are an artist or you are a photographer and uh, you know how many people do shift command four, take a picture from online and uh, they use it for their own purpose, but they have this patented technology that can detect it. And as I will come back uh, to this point later, that this company can actually uh, monetize digital images and also artwork. The world is going online guys. The world is becoming digital. One of the applications of blockchain, which you all very well know now is cryptocurrency yeah but it's just one application guys there are thousands and thousands of other applications and there will be tremendous disruption in several sectors this is one of the sector in fact actually some people actually feel uh, which is actually a sad thing but online they feel more comfortable than in real life we need to police this uh, we need to protect our work and this company has technology to do that and they have ideas to monetize it there could be a possible partnership with Kodak and others and also there could be mergers and acquisitions 
what is the market opportunity for this company by 2021 we are looking at 321 billion market let's say if you click some picture you post it online they have technology to monetize it 70 percent of all the images on internet are used without permission. It's mind boggling. It's, it's really, really crazy. The in image advertisement is enhanced by blockchain and machine learning, and it will monetize the visual content for creators, advertisers, and publishers. Maybe in future, I'll have a video where I will discuss the differences between artificial intelligence, machine learning, and data analytics, and deep learning. Their purpose is simple, guys. They wanna bring advertisers, content creators, publishers, and their images, and the artwork at one single place. And obviously, they already have uh, uh, pretty good customer list here and uh, they actually are much much better than their nearest competition the projected annual revenue by 2022 is 183 million and i think they're already on track to achieve that they are as i said uh, into nfts go read about nfts what they mean they have this coin offering which is based on blockchain technology where the image token would receive 10 percent of the revenue or 18 million in dividend and if you understand blockchain technology this gonna keep happening again and again as long as that particular block is used for transaction confirmation they have been pretty smart in the use of the funds that they have raised as i said the the catalyst uh, acquisitions 25 percent of the generated funds will go into merger and acquisitions uh, in the beginning i said the team is good again i have looked into the details and the cvs of all these people the team looks rock solid uh, once uh, they become the ping current next week i expect this company and the share price to go in upward direction <laughs> by the way these are advices to the company but i'm not a financial advisor the videos i make are for entertainment purposes only this stock is not available on trading 212 so i will leave a link in the description if you want to join ibkr you can use my link you will get a free share i'll get a free share most of you who are watching this video are actually not subscribed i will really appreciate if you can give me that like subscribe and uh, share and, and hit that bell notification button the final bonus talk is i have seen many youtubers already made videos on search pay so i'm not gonna uh, do the video full full video but all i'm gonna say is that i'm always looking for my next alpp and i told you in my previous videos that the next alpp is iqst now the question is what could be next iqst for me the next iqst is surg pretty solid revenues coming in the share structure is really really exciting and also the volume is really really good one bad thing is is the ceo was involved in wire fraud and i can uh, i can forgive him and then give him another chance but again i have not put a huge amount so i have about thousand shares by the way guys follow me on twitter i'll leave a link to the twitter profile because that's where actually i tell uh, if, if I am invested in new stock or if I find anything suspicious, I will let you know on Twitter first. As you all know, I'm a weekend YouTuber. Let's fill the bread and then uh, see how that mustard uh, chicken sandwich tastes. You can apply margarine if you want or any butter. Guys, less is more, so don't try to overfill. You just press it gently. Time for a taste test. I have served them with crisps or chips. It is English mustard. That's the way British like to eat this sandwich. So that's the way we have made it. The mustard is really showing through. Guys, this is so simple. Again, all we have done is enhance the natural taste. Let's see if this goes well with this beer. Try this combo, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.